This video is a product buyer's guide intended for gift givers and adult collectors. Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. And saying, before we get started on today's video, this is a friendly reminder that Toy Chat is not a children's channel and this video will be a buyer's guide for adult gift givers and collectors. If you happen to be a parent seeking content on YouTube for your child, we do suggest you check out the YouTube Kids app. We asked you all in a recent poll on both YouTube and Instagram which brand of blind box dolls you wanted reviewed next on our channel, and the winner of both polls was the Hair Art Series Hair Dorables. Make sure you stay tuned to our feeds, both here and on Instagram, for more chances to vote for what's up next on Toy Chat. Hair Art is part of Hair Dorables Series 5 and features a recurring theme of printed artwork on the doll's hair clips. It's been a little while since we reviewed Hair Dorables, but we are huge fans of this blind box doll brand here at Toy Chat. And we have reviewed several of them in the past, including the taller and fully posable Hair Amazing fashion dolls. I'll link our Hair Dorables playlist in the description below if you'd like to check out our other reviews. If you're new to the Hair Dorables brand, I will link their official website as well. Today, we have five Hair Art Hair Dorables dolls in total to unbox and review for you all. We found these dolls at Target, priced at $12.99 each. We'll provide the assortment DP side number and barcode on the screen here if anyone needs help in their doll hunting. Hair Art Hair Dorables come packaged in two different variants of boxes both shaped like Hair Dorables characters sporting wavy curls. One is a sugar pink with purple polka dots, while the other is a dark pink covered in a leopard print pattern. Because these are blind box dolls, you won't know which character is inside until you open it. The Hair Dorable logo is displayed across a iridescent sticker on the bottom of the box. There are 11 surprises inside and 26 new dolls to collect across this series. The back of the box displays more information on what to expect inside, as well as the product and warning information. Hair Dorables dolls stand at five and a half inches tall and is not recommended for children under the age of three. All right, so let's go ahead and get started opening up our first Hair Art Hair Dorables doll. So they are shrink wrapped in plastic, so we have to go ahead and snip that off first. And we can see big hair, don't care, written on the back of the box. So we just pry open the clip at the top to see all the surprises inside. So this one definitely looks like the doll, so we'll save that for last. First up, we have a little package with the Hair Dorables logo print. Let's open up and see what's inside. So it looks like this is definitely part of the stand in a dark purple. And we also have some stickers with Sally. Ooh, it looks like we got Sally. She is the artist character, if I recall correctly. So let's see what's in this next surprise. And it is stickers, masquerade mask stickers in blue and green. And we have a pair of little slip-on purple shoes. This package is a long one. So what is inside here? Oh, it is the hair clip. Very cute. It's straight platinum white hair with a very interesting print on it. It's a little bit hard to make out. It's very colorful, but it looks like gears and it was also wrapped in some nice parchment paper to keep the print maintained and it says sally at the top in blue on the clip this print yeah it's like technologic gears but also some butterfly shapes and you can open and close the clip to apply it on the doll of course at the bottom compartment in the box it looks like we have the base of the doll stand which is once again a dark purple all right, let's go ahead and open up our next surprise. 
And we have a masquerade mask, so cute. It has a little umbrella at the top and another pair of masquerade mask stickers. So here is the collector's guide for all 26 dolls in the Hair Adorables Hair Art Series. We have some beautiful artwork on the front. Very, very lovely. And we can see several characters in this one. So it looks like this collection is split into two different series, After School Fun and Masquerade. From the looks of it, we definitely got a doll in the Masquerade one. Ooh, Lucky Emily looks lovely. I really hope to pull her, although unfortunately it looks like she is rare. And we also have a cute, glamorous masquerade backdrop in the back of this box. So let's go ahead and open up the doll. And yes, it is Sally. And she looks incredibly cute. Very happy with her. It looks like her hair is wrapped in some nice plastic to maintain the style. That is some thick, curly hair. Very adorable, nice blue and white. Very nice first pull. I am happy with this. So it looks like the one we found is Steampunk Sally. <laughs> Definitely looks like she lives up to her name. So now let's go ahead and open one of the alternate colored boxes in the lighter pink. And ooh, the big hair don't care. <laughs> looks very cute in that color. So once again, we just prop the box open to see the surprises inside. Let's open our first surprise. I'm assuming it's the stand again. And yep, this one is in a light blue. And ooh, I have never seen this character before, Phoebe. She's very glamorous looking. So let's go ahead and open the next surprise, which is a sticker, Hair Adorables 20, and a cute little pair of slip-on shoes with kissy lips. Let's go ahead and open what looks like, yep, the hair clip. Oh, this one has a really fun pattern. It says Phoebe on the top in hot pink. And the hair itself is a light pink with kissy lips artwork printed down it. For an accessory, we have some cute hot pink star-shaped sunglasses and the base of the stand to match the rod. A collector's guide, of course. I'm gonna assume this one is the After School Fun series because it has what looks like a classroom backdrop. And let's reveal the doll. Oh, wow. Phoebe is adorable. That is a very unique hair color for a doll. It's like a rosy salmon color. So this girl's name is Phoebe's A Star from the After School Fun series. So just for the sake of conserving time, we're gonna go ahead and open the rest of these Herdorables off camera and then give you guys a closer look at the dolls. Let's take a closer look at each character we unbox. First up is Steampunk Sally, a new look for a returning character from series one and part of Hair Art's Masquerade collection. She has thickly rooted white and blue hair, tied around in the back of her head and fanned out into long tight curls. Her gear print hair clip can be attached anywhere you like. Her eyebrows match her electric blue hair and she has rosy pink lipstick. Her outfit is definitely steampunk inspired, sporting a blue and gold dress with colorful futuristic themes. It has puffy sleeves, a printed on yellow bodice, and an attached hoop dress made of plastic. Her shoes are dark purple slip-ons with magenta buckles. Sally's accessory is a masquerade mask inspired by opera-style binoculars with a steampunk design. They're topped with a pink umbrella. Sally has an arm sculpt that allows her to hold up her mask to her face nicely. Next up, we have the very glamorous Phoebe's A Star from the After School Fun half of this series. Phoebe was first introduced in series four. I never collected series four, so I guess that's why I've never seen her before. In this look, she sports rosy peach colored hair with streaks of a darker magenta in her bangs. Her long hair is tied back in a soft wavy ponytail. Her makeup is entirely peachy pink to match her hair and her outfit is very movie star glam, mimicking a Marilyn Monroe inspired pure white dress speckled in gold glitter. 
She wears a white faux fur shawl that is a separate piece from her dress so you can remove it and put it on the other dolls if you'd like. It sheds a little bit, but it's very lovely. Her shoes are simple gold slip-ons with pink kissy lips at the tip. She also comes with a pair of pink star-shaped sunglasses and as we already showed, the pink hair clip with kissing lips print. In our third box, we found Roses and Sage of the Masquerade series. Sage was introduced in series four, along with Phoebe. For this look, she has emerald green hair with streaks of a darker forest green. It's tied back into four separate braids at the back of her head. The way it is rooted and tied back, it looks like this one has a bit of a bald spot on her forehead. Her outfit is a pink rose print dress with a ruffled collar covered in glitter. The collar itself attaches with a separate Velcro strap from the rest of the dress, but cannot be removed on its own. The trim is cut like petals and has a longer train along the back. She wears long gold pants lined in glitter and wears gold slip-on shoes with three sculpted pink roses. Sage comes with a detailed masquerade mask. It is dark pink and top in pink roses and gold leaves at the top. Like Sally, she can hold the mask, but her arm sculpt prevents her from holding it over her face. Her hair art clip has her name in all pink at the top, with a pink and yellow floral print across the straight white hair. Inside box four, we found Alpine Skylar, another returning character from series one. I believe she's known for her traveling. This doll is part of the After School Fun series. For this look, she sports deep brown hair parted just off to the side and tied back into a large bump on her head. The bump is wrapped in a braid with purple streaks, which go into two large braid ties at either side of the back of her head. This style is impressively clean. I don't see any flyaways. Skylar has adorable purple eyes. Her cheeks are dusted in light freckles and her lipstick is pink. For her outfit, she wears Alpine inspired printed floral overalls and jean shorts with small bow attachments. This outfit is all one piece. Her shoes are turquoise boots lined in pink. She also comes with an adorable hot pink backpack with a pretzel on it. The straps can be snapped on and off to place on the doll's back. She's ready to tour the Alps for sure now. For our fifth and final doll, we unbox Queen Willow from the Masquerade Collection. This fantasy-inspired character returns once again from Series 1, this time taking her inspiration from Elegant Royalty. Her sugar pink and lavender hair is tied back into two separate tiered ponytails with two pieces parted off on either side of her head. She has light makeup with dark pink lipstick. Her outfit is an elegant ball gown, starting off with a lavender bodice crisscross in glitter. Attached at the shoulders are two draping slit sleeves with pink and purple unicorn patterns. The dress itself is a minty blue with pink glittery sleeves off to the side of her hips. This entire gown is one single piece. Willow's shoes are super cute. They're purple sandal wedges with large butterfly attached at the back, colored in a metallic lavender. Willow also comes with a beautiful detailed masquerade mask, lined in feather edges and painted in an ombre pink to blue color scheme. Willow's hair art clip has her name in pink at the top with a beautiful rainbow unicorn pattern down the hair itself. Hair art hair adorables each come with stands to display the doll. Dolls from the Masquerade series have dark purple stands, while the after-school fun dolls get light blue stands. These dolls have the same five points of articulations we have seen from the previous waves so far. All right, so here are our final thoughts on the Herdorables Series 5 hair art dolls. In terms of dolls that retail for under $15, Herdorables continue to be the best bang for your buck in the Playline market, in my opinion. They really still do live up to their name with incredibly high quality hair that's beautifully soft and brushable. It's really refreshing that so few of these hairstyles use heavy product, so we rarely have to deal with that cemented crunch so common in other doll lines. In most cases, they look lovely right out of box, and if they don't, a simple brushing usually cleans them up very nicely. How often can we say that about Playline dolls today? Am I right? 
For this series specifically, the designs all seem very strong. I actually don't think I'd be unhappy with really any of these new looks, you know, looking through the collector's guide. Um, and I've seen the official promos as well of what the dolls actually look like, and they're all pretty much very lovely. Um, Lucky Emily in particular is gorgeous. <laughs> um, I might have to go out of my way to hunt her down. The hair art clips are a cute theme, and I'm impressed with how nice some of the prints look. It's a bit difficult to clip certain ones on depending on the character's style, and sometimes the patterns on these can be a little tough to make out what they are. But in this size, I could also see kids using these clips on their own hair, which would be a really cute bonus feature. So again, parents out there, if your little one likes dolls, for 13 bucks, this is the best value you're gonna get. Speaking as a consumer, I still don't think Hair Dorables benefit hugely from the blind box business model, and I would prefer they exist as just a standard visibility doll brand, but it does add some additional excitement to the unboxing process. You always, of course, just have to hope for no duplicates, which luckily we did not get any of today. And of course, as of now, the Hair Dorables have many options available in their other collections if you'd prefer not to deal with the blind box gimmick. I like all the characters and their designs in this wave. I've always thought Hair Dorables had really cute designs that are both adorable and uniquely recognizable. I think it's unfortunate that the Asian character is so rare in this wave, but I really appreciate the diversity. I agree with Max, with their price points being really reasonable which makes getting several more doable. I'm really happy to see Hair Dorables doing well and that they are a welcome sight on the toy aisles. All right, thank you for joining us for our review of the Hair Art Series 5 Hair Dorables. Make sure to let us know what you guys think of them in the comments below. Share with us what you'd like to see reviewed next on Toy Chat, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.